Automation on Android can seem complex at first, but once you break down the individual parts to it, the process is actually a lot easier to understand. Thankfully, there are some apps out there that make this easy to set up as long as you understand the steps needed to accomplish your task. Now, oftentimes I see requests for dedicated applications that can control the Android media volume levels on a per app basis. Samsung went with this approach and includes this as an option in its sound assistant module of the good luck application suite but you'll be happy to know that we can do this on all Android smartphones and tablets with automation apps and I'll be showing you how that is done today with an application called macro droid if you followed me here on the channel you'll likely be familiar with this application as I prefer it over other options like tasker but you can do this with that application as well if you wanted to. I just prefer Macro Droid as it removes some of the complexity while still being a pretty powerful automation app. What I show you today does not require root access either, but it will require us to set up a few accessibility options for Macro Droid. But I'll go over these when we come to them. When we first open up the application after the intro screen, we're going to then add a macro. Now the first macro we're going to create will increase Android's media volume level whenever a certain application is open. So we're just going to name this one something like volume up. And then we need a trigger, so we're going to tap the plus button in the trigger section we're going to tap the applications category and then choose application launched slash closed and again this is going to increase the volume level so we're going to do this when applications are launched now for me i don't need to use the force legacy mechanism right here but if you're having issues with macro droid detecting when your apps are opening then you may need to select this option. So here we're going to select the applications and not enter package name. We're just going to do the select applications option. It's going to generate us a list of all of the apps that we have installed. So you're going to want to go through this list and select any application that you want the volume level increased to whenever that application is open. So for example, I want the volume to go up whenever the YouTube application is opened, and then I want that volume level to go back down when the application is closed. So I'm going to select the YouTube application here, but maybe you have another media player application like Spotify, or YouTube music or something else. You can even select multiple apps here as long as you want that volume level to go to the same level for all of these apps. So once we have selected an application here, we're just gonna tap on OK. And we're gonna get our first accessibility prompt. So we're gonna tap on OK here. It's gonna take us to an accessibility page where we tap the macro droid option and then enable this accessibility option via the toggle at the top. We don't need to enable this, we're just enabling the top toggle. Then we're going to tap back a couple of times to get back to this select apps page. Now with that accessibility option set, we're now going to tap on OK. And now it's going to bring us back to this macro page. So now we have a macro set up to detect whenever certain applications are launched and we need to set up an action for that. So like I said, I want the volume to go up to a certain level when YouTube is opened. 
So that's how I'm going to set the action up. I'm going to tap the plus button in the actions section. And then I'm going to search for volume. Now we have two options here. I'm going to select the volume change option. And we're going to get another permission request. So we're going to tap on OK. We're going to again find macro droid in this list and give it access to that part, that permission. Tap the back button a couple of times. And now we're going to reselect that volume change option. So firstly, we're going to set the volume in the foreground to prevent any type of issues that could be happening with that the phone trying to change the volume in the background. And here we have all of our different volume levels. So again, we're wanting to change the media volume. So we're going to select that option here. And then we can set it to what we want that volume to be. It could be 100%, could be 50. You set this to what you're comfortable with for your volume level. When you've found that volume, go ahead and tap on OK. And now you're going to see that has been added to the actions section. Now we're going to save this macro by tapping the back button up here at the top left and then tapping save. Now we're going to get our third accessibility request for draw overlay. So we're going to tap on OK, find macro droid in this list, and again, enable that accessibility permission before tapping the back button twice. And then when we get back here, again, we need to save this macro. So we're going to tap the back button and then tap save. We're then going to be able to find this macro that we just created by tapping the macros tab and finding it right here. So this is great as it increases the volume level to a to something that we want whenever an application is open but controlling the volume on a per application basis also means that we want to drop down the volume each time that application closes so we're going to create a new macro which we can do by tapping the plus button right here or going back to home and then tapping the add macro and again we're going to name this something simple something easy to remember. So I'm going to set it to volume down. And this macro is going to be very similar to what we did before. So we're going to tap on triggers. we we'll tap on that plus button next to triggers, tap applications, applications launched and closed. This time we're going to select the closed option because again, we want to drop the volume back down to a desirable level when that application is closed. So we're going to select the application closed option, tap on OK. We still want the select applications option highlighted, tap on OK. And then we're going to find the same application that we added to the last macro. And again, this could be multiple applications if we wanted to. But we just want this macro to match the other macro that we set up. So we're going to select the YouTube application here in my example. So now this macro is going to wait until the YouTube application is closed before it executes this action, which is going to be dropping the volume down. So we tapped the plus button in the actions section, search for volume again and then select the volume change option. Again, we're gonna set this in the foreground. We're gonna choose the media music slider. And again, we're gonna change this slider to something we want this set to when the application closes. And in my preference, I want this set to zero. So I want Macro Droid to increase the volume to a useful level when YouTube is open and then I want it to drop the volume back down to zero 
when YouTube is closed. So once we have that set, we're going to tap on OK. We can see it here. We're going to tap the back button up at the top left so that we can save it. And then we're going to tap the macros option to see that we have added that macro correctly. You can see we have a volume up that's going to do a volume change when the application is launched and then a volume change down when the application is closed. It's difficult for me to demonstrate this on video due to YouTube being so aggressive with its copyright strike claims but I did just manually test these macros off camera and they do indeed work as intended. And you should always know that you can come in and edit these macros. At any time. So for example, if I wanted to add multiple applications to this macro, we can do that very quickly and very easily. using macro droid. And again, you can likely use many other automation applications for this very thing, but this is how I control Android's volume levels on a per app basis on my smartphones and tablets.